Thank you for joining us once again in this Moving Through podcast series of short messages from Pastor Robert Turner, educator and founder of Eye Care Outreach in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Continuing with life skills building and Christ-centered support. You know, in the space of people and places, we can experience a life-changing opportunity of transformation. An opportunity that allows God's fingerprint of providence to reset our lives. An immediate opportunity to a new response to add value to this world through the restorative work of Christ Jesus. So today I just encourage you to open your mind and heart as Pastor Rob is encouraging us to go beyond the rocks, beyond the rough terrain, to pass beyond, in essence, to cross over and choose an inward resolve to surrender, to stretch out your hand. Hello, I'm Robert Turner. Thank you for joining with us. In our times together, we've been sharing truth nuggets of moving through life. And today, we'll examine more truth nuggets of moving through life. You see, moving through is a necessary mandate. We live in the transition of impacting now. We are in the journey of life intersecting spaces, places, and people. Transition speaks not only of our current location in life, but it also speaks of all our circumstances, which may bring us to a destination whereby we can experience a new focus and purpose. Our moving through can be an opportunity presenting us with a new resolve of hope and surrender. Moving through can give us a restart, a reset, and a release to experience a miracle. In the space of noise and people, we can find life-changing opportunity of visitation and hope. The mystery of God's providence is encircling our daily lives. In the midst, we cannot allow ourselves to miss the opportunity to stop, exhale, take a deep breath, and enter into the significance of God's fingerprint providence encircling our lives in real time. Well, in the synoptic gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 1 through 11, we find a story of a man who stretched out his withered hand and was healed to do new things. He was given an opportunity of reset and release. The story begins in verse 1 of chapter 6 of Luke, where it tells us that on a certain Sabbath, Jesus was going through grain fields and his disciples began to pick up heads of grain rub them in their hands, and eat the kernels. Some of the Pharisees asked, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered them, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? How he entered the house of God, took and ate the consecrated bread, which is not lawful for any to eat except the priests alone? and gave it to his companions? In essence, Jesus was saying to them, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Well, on another Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and was teaching. And a man was there whose right hand was withered. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So they watched him closely. However, Jesus knew what they were thinking. So inside the synagogue, Jesus said to the man who had a withered hand to get up 
and stand in front of everyone. So the man got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask, which is lawful on the Sabbath? To do good or to do evil? To save life or destroy it? He looked around at them all, and even considering their anger, Jesus is couched in compassion. Real compassion sees behind others' angry parts. Real compassion sees the aspects of these their personalities, to see the fear or pain behind them. So Jesus says to the man, stretch out your hand. The man stretched out his right hand and it was completely restored. We could presumably say the man exercised obedience. Though the writer Luke has not said the man had faith or even asked to be healed. I believe the man's human will was called into action. The man's obedience of stretching out his hand to Jesus was rewarded with healing. It was a reset to new. This man received a withered release, a reset through stretching forth his hand to Jesus. You see, in this miracle story, nothing is said of the man's faith because the focus is not on him, but the Pharisees. Jesus exerted his lordship over the Sabbath, commanded the impossible, and demonstrated to do good to a human being in need. I believe this is what the Lord is calling you and I to do in our moving through. He wants us to stretch out our hand to him. Jesus wants to set off a reset in our hearts to a divine upload to be fully ready and prepared for what is to come. For us to do what we're not used to doing. You see, there is a shift in the transition taking place on this earth. We need to stretch our hand to the Lord in immediate obedience to allow him to reset his anointing to accomplish his will in a different paradigm. To get our hearts and minds realigned to a true place of humility, grace, and repentance. He's calling you and I, he's calling us to stretch and do new things. Over the past few months, I have found myself stretched, stretched out in a place and space to the ministry of presence unlike before. I've had to stretch my hands to him to keep me from my own emotional baggage, to heal me from my own withered self ways as I've had to move through. Luke 6.10 informs us, when Jesus had looked around at them all, he said to the man, stretch out your hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored as whole as the other. You see, to stretch forth means to extend something outward. To extend something forward. The Lord Jesus is calling us to stretch forward, to move forward, extending our hands to him. Some of us are stuck holding on to what we have in our withered hands. I'm personally sensing the need to constantly let go and stretch forth my hand to the Lord. In our stretching our hands, the Spirit is able to work through us to do what is impossible for us to do with a withered self. 
You may say, I'm in the synagogue, I'm in the church. Yet he says, just as he says to that man with a withered hand, get up, rise, and come forward. Many of us have been sensing the call from the Lord to get up and to come forward. Jesus is calling upon us to be stretched out of our complacency whew, and make space and place for new. Moving through entails, crossover, getting up, and allowing God to do the emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual healing that enables us to move through life. You see, Jesus is the one who is making all things new. Just as we press the start button on our cell phone, tablets, or our computers, and we find the whole system will reboot, I believe the Lord is rebooting those who will rise and hands that are stretched toward him in immediate obedience. Moving through can give us an opportunity to stretch, a reset, a release, to experience a miracle. Just as Jesus commanded the impossible in this story of a man's hand, he can do a good thing, a new thing in our lives. He can stretch our faith to do new things. Some of us have been oversensitive to the warfare and so we meshed in all kinds of battles and to all the fast-paced movements. We find we're not ready and steady to be led by the good shepherd of our souls and I am guilty. Forgive me. Forgive us, Lord. You know, I'm reminded in the Bible and Exodus the story of Exodus and Exodus 3 verse 4 says the Lord saw that Moses turned aside to see the burning bush. Note that it was after Moses turned that the Lord called Moses' name. Our calling is found in the fire. Our calling is found in these burning bush moments of immediate obedience in our experiences. Our calling is found as we turn to the Lord. When the Lord saw that he, Moses, turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, here I am. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this story. We thank you for the example of an outstretched hand. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your willingness and compassion to heal the wilderness, the witheredness of our lives, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and even mentally. Your desire to move in a special way to reset our hearts, to give us a divine upload, to be ready and prepared for what is to come. Your spirit can and will empower us to do what we are not used to doing. So we stretch our hand for your healing and anointing to accomplish your will and your purposes in the paradigm of our lives. Lord, we desire to get our hearts and minds realigned with humility, grace, and repentance. You are making all things new, Lord Jesus. Forgive us, and we need you so we can move through with reset and release to stretch our faith to do new things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen.